It's roasting. I mean, roasting really bad. 34 degrees on my thermometer here in the car. 34 degrees. I've never seen that before in Ireland. And I'm driving along the road here and I am really roasting. Okay, so I've just crossed the road here and I'm looking at this and I gotta get in. I gotta get in there. cannot describe how good that felt and I mean it I really mean it been in that plunge pool beautiful day that's in it man that was that was very special I enjoyed that okay so I just had lunch uh, here I think that's the most epic lunch that I've ever ate now I was gonna try and go over the river there and get to the little house but um, I think I can see enough of it from here. And over here it breaks out into this lovely lake in the background. So this area, I gotta say, it's just fantastic. So I went to the shop there. I'm trying to desperately eat healthier because recently I, uh, I've been eating a lot of chocolate, ice cream, all that stuff, crisps. And now I just uh, opted for water. There's a road across here that I wanted to visit. The last time I was here, I actually wanted to fly the drone along there just to see what it's like. So I might take a quick spin over there. Uh, Ashley Falls is here as well. So I'm just gonna go there for like a half an hour and then we're gonna go on to Lettergesh. I flew the drone over at Killery Harbour and uh, once I packed it away I did a lot of driving along by the south coast of Killery Harbour and I ended up here and there should be a little bit of parking space yes there is oh yeah by the way I've been using this uh, camera here this is the DJI Osmo and I haven't used this in a while if I use the GoPro it's fixed directly to the car but this guy has got a gimbal. It should stay level, even if the car is going like that, the camera should stay level. So it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Okay, I better take that off. Okay, so now I am all geared up. Wetsuit is on, I've got my weight belt here. I've got my fins, mask, snorkel, everything. I even have this, a new GoPro that I picked up. Forgot the attachment for the wand, so I have to hold it like this. But uh, let's do it anyway, let's get in the water. had food there in a place called Coins and it was the most unbelievably cozy bar that I've ever seen in my life. 
and the food was great. just witnessed the sun going down here in Lettergesh Beach and I've never seen the sun go down here before. I gotta say it was one of the most awesome things I've ever seen but unfortunately I broke my ND filter. See the crack going through it? These things happen. It's getting dark so I better get going now before it's too dark to pitch the tent so let's go. So I'm up, it's about uh, 20 past 8 in the morning, Friday morning this morning and uh, I'm in Leather Gesh camp er, car park, camping park, <laughs> um, god I can't think yet. Leaving the campsite after my 6 hours of sleep, I actually slept okay. Not too bad. There's a really nice strand over there, silky smooth sand. So I gotta check that out and I might fly the drone there as well. First I gotta grab something to eat. Okay, so I'm here in Lettergesh Beach, slightly breezy. I have my drone ready here, I'm going to take off, do a little bit of a flight along the beach here and see what it's like because it's absolutely gorgeous here. I'm loving this place. I've stumbled upon yet another very exquisite looking, picturesque looking uh, waterfall here. Sort of goes through the little bridge there behind me and comes out the other side here. And it's very, very nice. I'm loving this. Now I'm looking into this crystal clear really deep water in fact here uh, there's a massive current going through it so i'm going to actually get in just for the laugh all the water is just getting sucked out through the middle here and when you put your head into it, it's like all this pressure. It's trying to suck you through. And we've got a load of fish in here as well, swimming up against the current. I'm 
Man, I'm rejuvenated, refreshed. That water was so good, the perfect temperature. Looking at the salmon swimming up against the current, absolutely gorgeous. If I lived within a few miles of here, I'd be in there every day.